Hey beauties, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today and today is Foundation Friday but you are getting more than foundation today. You are getting a full faced, two faced review. Well not like full face but we got a lot of products to cover. So you know when you go to Sephora and you like check out and have all like the mini versions of things? That section always gets me because I don't always want to commit to a full size, full priced product. But in this Sex on the Peach pack, you get the Too Faced Mattifying Setting Spray. This is all like their peach collection. The Too Faced Peach Perfect Translucent Powder. The Too Faced Concealing Matte Primer. You get the Better Than Sex Mascara, a full size. And this all started because I really wanted to try the Too Faced Peach Perfect Foundation. Now my best friend also has oily skin and she swears by this foundation so I wanted to give it a try and it does claim to be oil free, 14 hour wear, oil controlling and photo friendly. So I'm going to try it all today and we're going to see what works. The reason I was so excited about this little pack is because the setting powder alone is $33. So to get this and to be able to try three other Too Faced products for $45 seemed like a great deal. Now if you are new to my channel, welcome. I do post foundation reviews on Friday, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you're notified as soon as I post a new video. But I do have very oily skin, so I'm always striving to find products that are going to last all day and keep me as matte as possible. So without further ado, let me try on all these products and see how shiny or how matte I am by the end of the day. All right, let's do this. I'm gonna use a little Zazzy band to put my hair up and away. So I have my Sex on the Peach pack. We have a lot to go through in here. Starting with the Too Faced Primed and Peachy Cooling Matte Skin Perfecting Primer Infused with Peach and Sweet Fig Cream. So this is their 20 milliliter little like travel size one. Comes out peach. Let's rub this into the skin, kind of press it in. It does dry pretty fast. And it kind of has like a chalky consistency to it. It's not very like smooth or creamy or jelly. If I had to compare it to something, I might compare it to the Porefector by Benefit. If you guys tried that one, that's like everyone's favorite. But I don't know, this consistency is, you just have to like use a lot. It doesn't really spread. So a little does not go a long way. But if it keeps me matte, I don't care. Now I'm grabbing my damp beauty blender and let's grab the foundation. This is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation, also infused with peach and sweet fig cream. Oil-free, 14 hour wear. We're not gonna do 14 hours today. Oil controlling, which is major for me and photo friendly. So I got the color Warm Sand. Let's do this. Do one nice pump there, get my mirror. Wow, that color is like spot on. Even though it's called warm sand, it's not really giving me much of a warm undertone. I'm starting to think I'm more cool than golden or warm because sometimes foundations make me like a little too orangey, but because of the color shade range, I don't have a choice. But this one is like perfect. All right, so far so good. I think it's looking pretty matte already. I am happy with the color choice, especially for winter as I get paler. Now I don't have a Too Faced concealer, so I'm gonna use my L'Oreal Paris Full Wear Concealer, which I have been using a lot and love. And then we'll see how that setting powder sets. Now I can use my Too Faced Peach Perfect Translucent Mattifying Loose Setting Powder, also infused with peach and sweet fig. And this one actually smells like peaches. It smells really good. It has a really sweet scent to it. And it is a more pinky powder. I don't know if you guys can really see that on camera. It is like a very light peachy pink color but it doesn't affect you with the troll translucent thing. So let's tap some on my beauty blender and let's set these under the eye. It's a very fine powder, so it is blending in very nicely. Ah, 
Look how nice and matte that is. Beautiful. Very well done. But since I am trying to do a full face to Too Faced, I'm actually going to apply this all over my face to really help keep me matte and set everything. It smells so good. If you don't like scents, you're not going to like this one because it does smell good. So if you have a very sensitive nose, prone to sneezing, mm, you might want to avoid this one. But if you do like sweet smells, you're going to love it. All right, I'm looking very matte. See how important translucent powder is? Before I apply my mascara and setting spray, let me go ahead and finish the rest of my face. And voila! Now going back into my Sex on the Peach pack, we have the mascara. This is Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I mean, if your mascara is better than your sex, But let's put it on anyways and see how it uh, feels. I mean, looks. The bristles are nice and fluffy on the wand, which is my preferred type of wand. I don't really like the really thin plasticky ones. Not clumping together, keeping all of them pretty individual, getting some length. All right, that is pretty nice. I am happy with this mascara. I probably will continue to use it. Will I say it's better than sex? I mean, I am pregnant. And now the last item in my little box is the Too Faced Peach Mist Mattifying Setting Spray. <gasps> Has a little bead in there when you shake it around. It says, shake me, baby. This is a very sexual line. Ooh. That scent continues, even at the mist, so if you don't like scents, once again, you're not going to like it. I actually don't mind it. It's almost like a perfume for your face. But it does have a nice, gentle, cooling mist. So it is currently 4 o'clock p.m. I'm going to try to wear this foundation for as long as possible. Probably not going to hit that 14-hour mark, but I'm going to come back at the end of the day, and we'll see how matte these products really keep my oily skin. And I'm back. It is now exactly... 11 o'clock p.m. So I've had on this foundation for seven hours. It claims it can go for a full 14, but I don't have a full 14 hours. But look at my skin right now. I am very impressed. I just checked out myself in like a normal mirror without these crazy like studio lights and I looked so matte. So even under all five of my bright lights right now, I still look really matte. I just have a tiny bit of shine here that could be my motherly glow, but I'm very impressed. But just like every Foundation Friday, I like to get some oil absorbing sheets. These are by CVS. Feel free to use any brand you want. It doesn't really matter. That is not bad at all. Sometimes I could fill up a full sheet of oil and there is zero foundation on here. Like that didn't transfer at all. I can't tell you the last time I've seen this. Like this is amazing. So here I am now, even after blotting, I'm just as matte as when I first applied this foundation seven hours ago. So if you're looking for a great day-to-day -day foundation to wear for your eight-hour shift at work, this will definitely do the job. And this has to be up there in the top foundations for oily skin. Bravo, Too Faced Peach Perfect. Now the real test for me moving forward is to now separate these products, try the foundation without the primer, try the foundation without the setting spray, see which ones you really need. But as of right now, as a collection, these all did a great job at coming together to fight my very oily skin. So what do you think of my results? Are you also just as impressed as I am by keeping me matte and shine free for my loyal subscribers? You know how shiny I can get at the end of the day. So the Too Faced Peach Perfect Foundation, 
is a winner in my book. Let me know if you have tried this as well. And if you are oily and you're excited to try this, let me know how it works for you and your skin. Or if you've tried the primer or the powder or the setting spray, which one works for you? If you enjoyed this foundation review, make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post two new videos every week, once on Friday and once on Sunday. And if you want to see me use the rest of the products individually, make sure to follow me on Instagram at Ms. Bianca Renee. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.